Before I became a founder, I was actually just a high school student. After, you know, 19 or so, I started getting other jobs, working in warehouses and factory and production, and then I did some decorating, like interior design. The amount of money I was able to start with was about $1,000, but back then I was just kind of like learning as I go. And a breakthrough for us was definitely being on Shark Tank. It gave us that recognition. Yeah, after Shark Tank, we definitely got a lot of phone calls, a lot of inquiries, a lot of people interested. We also got a lot of emails of just, you know, people just writing emails like, oh, I saw you, congrats, you know, or spam mails, or, you know, Emily, you're really cute. <laughs> um, but I guess because of COVID, we were hoping for more. COVID definitely like had an impact from the time we aired was like, complete lockdown. People were still working from home, were not working at all. Um, so you just can't help to wonder like how much better it could have been, you know, if the pandemic wasn't a factor when we aired. We persuade our clients by giving them the pros and cons. Basically, our competitors more than even other mural companies would be the vinyl and decal business. So it's either you paint it or you print it. And there's a lot of uh, pros with printing it because it's cheaper and it's faster, but there's a lot of cons, especially with exterior because it peels off the wall and it won't stick to brick and it won't stick to this material and it's not long lasting and it's not trendy. So, you know, we give them the pros and cons and let them kind of decide. The benefits on having murals done is it's not just painting a mural, it's the experience as well. So, you know, if you're walking down the street and there's a campaign going up with like a vinyl, some people just installing it, you're really not going to think anything of it. But if you're on the street and you see people on the side of buildings painting, you're going to stop, you're going to look, you're going to take pictures for Instagram. Oh, so cool, there's artists. And then you're going to pay attention to the campaign that they're actually painting for. So for the company, you know, they're getting a hand-painted mural, but the time process while we're out on the streets painting, it's almost like a show for the public and it helps the campaign as well because people take pictures and then they tag the campaign and they tag the artists and it's kind of like a win-win for both of us. Um, and also it just looks much trendier, you know, seeing the brush strokes, seeing the distress, seeing, you know, something that was a thing of the past and now kind of like redeveloping just you know, it, it goes more with like the urban vibes of certain neighborhoods than just sticking a vinyl decal on the wall. So currently we are operating in three branches. We have a New York branch, a Los Angeles branch, and a Chicago branch. So we're definitely in the plans of 2021 looking to expand in Chicago since that's one of our newer branches. LA has definitely taken a step back just because they've been on lockdown on and off for the whole year. Los Angeles and New York are like our two main branches. So we definitely want to explore some outskirts cities. Chicago, we've already started. Florida, we're looking into a couple of others, maybe Austin, Texas, um, and really doing some market research to see if that's right for us to expand there. We are one of the three top mural companies. So you type in mural painting near you and we come up right away on Google with the, along with our competitors. But the difference between our competitors and us is the competitors only take on very, very large projects, like only sides of buildings, maybe minimum 20,000 and up type projects. And we service the middlemen and kind of like back to our roots on how we started, the smaller jobs like nursery rooms and, you know, a mom and pop restaurant. And we'll also do those type of large scale projects. So we're very versatile. All of our artists can handle any medium or any style that the clients request, as opposed to our competitors have one specific style. So that's definitely something that we don't see a lot of from our competitors. What keeps me up at night is pretty much everything. <laughs> but in specifics, um, when we have, which is very rare, a um, unsatisfied client, it physically hurts me. I don't like it. I can't sleep at night. It makes me upset and angry and how can I resolve the situation? 
um, and also just the general, you know, entrepreneurial issues of, you know, a bill is due tomorrow and there's certain accounts receivable still owed and how is that going to happen and oh my gosh, I forgot, you know, I have to do this in the morning and if I fall asleep now, I might forget I have to do it by the time I wake up, so I should just stay up all night. And then the fun stuff too. I'll think of like epiphanies that I think are the greatest ideas in the world and I can't sleep because I'm so excited to come into work and tell the office at 9 a.m. that we're gonna do this. And then I will fall asleep maybe for a bit and then I wake up and I'm like, that wasn't a great idea. Why did I think that was so great at 3 a.m.? <laughs> if someone were to start mural painting, I would definitely wanna sit them down and say, it's not just painting, which is sad for an artist. Because when I started, I was known as Emily the artist. Like everybody who knew me and in my neighborhood and in my community, I was always just the painter. But as you like go into it and learn that like you're not just gonna be working a paintbrush, you're gonna be like doing a lot of unexpected tasks that kind of almost fall into like the construction business, as if you're gonna start a construction business, that type of paperwork, that type of responsibilities offset. You start, I can't say hating painting, but it feels like a job versus a hobby. So you start transitioning yourself from, you know, an artist to more of an administrator or, you know, a business person. And I think that's just something that would change for anybody that is doing this full time to this extent. So for all you artists that think that you want to start a mural business, I'm not saying no, just know that, you know, your mind is going to change a bit, you know, like the way you are, how you view things is you're not going to go home after a nine hour day and paint a canvas for fun. <laughs> My name is Tim and I'm the office manager and assistant to Emily Strauss. Uh, what I do here is um, I do a lot of the office work. I put together the jobs, speak to clients about quotes and uh, you know, in-house designs, fabrications, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> When I met Emily, uh, I was just looking, I already had a day job. I was looking for just extra work, uh, pretty much just on weekends and things like that. And even though it was a great company, I still felt like I was, you know, just stagnant there. You know, it wasn't too creative. As being a painter and worked on murals in the past, I just uh, typed up, you know, mural companies or, you know, uh, help wanted from murals, painters. And I came across her website. So I just decided to reach out. I saw the email and I said, hey, you know, do you do this alone? Do you have a team? Do you need help? And she actually said she was doing interviews during that time, so I lucked out. And uh, we met in like, uh, I think Midtown, I forget where exactly, in Manhattan, at a Starbucks. I brought my portfolio and uh, she loved it. And yeah, she said, uh, you're on. So I became like a little part-time weekend guy for her. What I'm doing right now is I'm starting on a fabrication for a mural that's coming up. So again, it's their image blown to scale on the computer and then we have it gridded by uh, 36 by 72 inches uh, sheet grids. So we have the image here and then we turn it into an outline. Okay, great. So it's set up there. Printer is selected so I just press print and that sheet should spool out. Just gotta wait for it to connect to the printer. See, a lot of people that are not behind the scenes don't realize how much that goes on, and, you know, and how much time consuming it really is. So this tip has a lot of voltage going on, so we always be careful to keep your hand behind the, the lip here so you don't slip and hit it. See? Packs a pretty punch if you touch it. <laughs> You can see the holes through the sunlight, like perforated holes. So when we go to location, we tape everything up to grid, and then we take a pounce pad that's filled with chalk dust, and we like pound it in and rub it in. And then when we take the paper off, you have the outline of the mural in chalk, and you just trace right in. I'd, I'd say my, my motivation is art in general. Uh, you know, I, I sleep, eat, and breathe art, so being at this job is just, being creative and you know the, the different visions that we create and spread and let other people in the and you know the public see.